burn it down till it's ashes and smoke. Burn it down till it's smoldering coals. Burn it down till I don't want you no more. Maybe burn it down. Oh. What up, guys? Matt here, country song teacher. Hope you're doing well. Ready for another great week of jamming the guitar. If you're not playing guitar yet, of course, I guess everybody watching my videos kind of is playing guitar. But anyway, let's go have a lot of fun. Don't forget, guys, the first Tuesday of every month, I go live on this channel. So tonight, I mean, I guess what is the day? So tomorrow night, Tuesday, August the 1st, 7 p.m., I'll be doing a Q&A, jamming a lot of stuff in my songbooks. Um, just a lot of free play. I'll take y'all's questions. We'll have a lot of interaction for an hour. So from 7 to 8 Eastern time, Tomorrow night with a little YouTube live. I got a fun song. I have several several requests for this song. It's going to use three chords. Um, I'm going to show you a fun little picking pattern too. So the first chord is a G chord, like on the two bottom strings. Of your third fret and go fifth and sixth. All six is your G. When I say a D, you can play a regular D, which is third, bottom, and second. Show the bottom four, or you can keep the bottom two locked. Press the third string. Sometimes I'll even take just the ring finger, second string. Either way, and then your A chord. I'll leave my ring finger on the second string, use my first finger to press the two middle strings, show the bottom five. So the whole, as far as the chorus, burn it down till it's ashes and smoke, burn it down. You're gonna do two G's, two D's, four A's. Burn it down till I don't want you no more, baby burn it. Now, this is what's going to be cool about this song. If you're new, it might be a little tricky, but hanging there, I'm telling you, it's going to be a lot of fun if you can get it. I want you to take your guitar pick, chuck it out the window. So, guitar pick, you're gone. We're just going to use our, finger, our, our hands here. You're going to use your thumb and first finger, and you're going to kind of use your thumb to rake down and then flip. You're just kind of doing that motion the whole time. So, raking the strings softly and coming up on the strings. So, um... See how you're just going up and down. And remember, I always say strumming is about timing. It's about a rhythm and a flow. So when you're playing acoustic guitar and kind of rhythm guitar, it's not about all these specific notes. All that kind of stuff. That's lead guitar. We're doing rhythm guitar. Just have fun, strum along and sing. So it's going to... You're gone and you left me here in this house on the ground. Burn it down. Because it does that, there, there, there. It has like kind of a little weird strumming pattern in there. Kind of it has a little more lead things. But if you're just starting out, you're just going to do, again, strum the top two or three and then flip the top and then bottom two or three. I'll leave my memories inside. In the baby loved it all night. Every word, every Friday, feelings don't cold. So you can see I'm already screwing up the lyrics. But the pattern you want to use, again, this is a guitar lesson, not my singing lesson, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you're gonna do the chorus. I mean the verses. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Like I said, if you're a beginner, <laughs> goodbye. You can just do down strums for the timing. The line between us is gone. Over. So you can keep it super simple if you want. After you get a little more advanced, that little, that's pretty cool, pretty cool strumming pattern as far as for your verses. Again. And now that chorus, burn it. So one A chord, burn it down in the ashes. 
So instead of that little finger picking flipping, you're gonna actually ring out those chords strumming. Back on the verses. That's a pretty fun little strumming pattern. Like I said, you can switch it up. But always remember, guys, strumming is about timing. I say it all the time. I'll, t I'll say it till I die. So if you're a beginner, to go a lot of, especially a lot of up strums. When I was a beginner, I really struggled with up strums. Um, just keep it easy and steady. What you want to do when you're a beginner, you want to get where you can change the chords fast. When, there, when the desired change happens, even if you have to play the slow song, you keep a steady flow, steady rhythm, change the chords when it's time to change them, and you also want to slowly work on your up strums. Up strums are always hard. Uh, remember, don't strum all the strings up. When you're doing an up strum, just flip the bottom two or three. It's going to sound just as good. So, And I, I used to say this all the time, too, and this is not just for you parents out there who had the kids learning that sound awful. I was there. When you're first playing, play a little bit softer, in a little bit slower, a little bit easier, and for some reason it sounds a little better. You might sing a little quieter, play a little quieter, and you're slowly teaching your brain before you're just sounding off. Just kind of, you're, 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 you're crawling before you walk there. See how, you see how even with my right hand, instead of big strums, I'm just kind of strumming those maybe five, six, five, four, and three. Burn it down till those ashes and smoke. Burn it down till the smoldering coals. Burn it down till I don't want you no more. Baby, burn it down. See that? Just those down strums sounds good. After you get a little better. you guys like i said don't forget tune in tomorrow you got questions i got answers i might have the right answers but i got some kind of answer right in the meantime go to country song teacher.com all one word country song teacher.com you'll see my four chord song books my strumming courses beginner guitar lessons all that kind of stuff so be sure to check out the website i appreciate y'all tuning in please subscribe and smash the like button until next time i'll see y'all tomorrow let's go live holla